Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. In the last one, we tried to make... Oh wait, no, what did we do? In the last video, we made the simplest possible NPM package and we made it work all locally. But of course, we want to share this with people. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a package using that library so that we can share it with people so that our other dependencies can use it. Yeah. Of course, what I could have done is just add this section at the bottom here and then run NPX semantic release CLI setup, but I didn't do that. Instead, you get to watch me painfully slog through a whole sequence of mistakes just to get this thing working like it should. If you don't know already, NPM is the world's largest software registry where we have all of our packages and it's the default one when we're using Node and we do NPM install, <laughs> it comes from here. We already created a package.json file and those of you who are very keen eyed will notice that we have a scoped npm package. That's what this little at symbol and this name with the slash means. We're gonna use the directions for the scoped public packages, which requires you to create an npm user account and an npm organization, which I've already done. And there's lots more in the npm docs. You should definitely read it because I've definitely read all of the documentation on npm. Before publishing any packages, I wanted to be extra fancy and use semantic release, which has a plugin called commit analyzer that uses conventional change log, which uses conventional commits. I talked a little bit about conventional commits in my second devlog. Don't watch it, it's not worth watching. So here we are getting started with semantic release. They give you a bunch of directions, but then they say, hey, alternatively, those steps can be easily done with the semantic release interactive CLI. Ooh, interactive. CLI. So I'm gonna run that command in my terminal. Okay to proceed. Yes. I <laughs> got an error. What is this error? I don't have this set up as a repository. Well, we're gonna take a minor detour and make a git repository. GitHub. Repository. Create a new repository. UI. It's available. Surprise. Public. Create repository. Copy. All right, back in package JSON, add a repository field. We're gonna add URL and paste and add a type, git, and also add a section for bugs. I also created a git ignore file and run git init and make an initial commit. All right, let's try running this again. Is this GitHub repository private? No, it's not. Why is it trying to use HTTPS? Right, this isn't the remote, this is the <laughs> URL. <laughs> so bad at this. <laughs> Painful, just, just painful. Yep, that's my registry. What's my username? <laughs> that's my username. What's my NPM password? Ugh, I don't even know my NPM password. Ugh. Okay, it wants me to generate a personal access token. So generate. Uh, you shouldn't see this token delete. Let's try that again. All right, now that that's dealt with, what CI, CI are you using? GitHub Actions, okay. That's it? I'll admit that took a lot longer than I had planned. Well, the initial commit is in. Now let's figure out how to use this thing. All right, so I think I have the GitHub token and then now I need to make the NPM token. What was the command again? NPM token create. NPM password, great. Oh, I need to have a public email. Enter the email. Okay, we can finally make the darn token. Put password in, go. Another one time password, go. Ah, so good. But I want it for automation. Okay, can I delete this token? We're gonna just delete all the tokens. I don't know, I've never used the token. Look, I've only made it 33 minutes ago. Do any of these have like the automation permissions? I don't even know. So I'm gonna just uh, cancel. You know what, I don't know. I think it already made a token. We'll see if it works. All right, we'll assume I made this correctly. The next thing I wanna do is getting this configuration set up. We need a release RC file or a release key and package JSON. Sure, let's just do that. We'll just throw it here. And I think it's just like main that we're using. Don't even know if we have a next, but it's good to have. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Does this, is this re required? Nice, it, oh, it already uses the repository property. That's, I'm gonna keep. Tag format, we're gonna keep that. Plugins, ooh, we've got commit analyzer, release notes generator, release npm, release github. Yep, we're gonna keep those. All right, okay, okay. How about this stuff? Workflow configuration. Mm, there's a lot of stuff. We're gonna grab the GitHub action. Okay, GitHub workflows release .yml. Copy this entire file. Make a new directory. GitHub workflows release .yml. .yml. 
I'm gonna add it to Git and we're gonna paste. Boom. Now, I don't think I have this NPM token in my GitHub secrets, so I'm gonna add that. So this access token is no longer necessary because it's gonna be all done automatically via the GitHub action. So delete, or am I sure? Yeah. Make a new token. Automation, generate token. Whoa, 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 uh, close your eyes. Close your eyes, you're not supposed to see that stuff. And in my organization, I'm gonna open up the secrets area and create a new organization secret, call it NPM, nope. NPM, oh God. and paste the super secret access and then add secret and boom, there we go. I have an NPM token now. Did I do it right? Yeah, okay, cool. I got the M NPM token, GitHub token is given to me by GitHub. The rest I'm gonna figure out later. Oh, branches, branches main. Name, release, yes, that's good. All right, let's commit this. GitHub action, commit. Oh, I have a GitHub action and it's a release. What's happening? Setting up Node.js, installing dependencies. Run, allowed, okay, all right. Ah, I've got an error. What is the error? Invalid NPM token. What? Let's go back. Secrets, NPM token. What about in uh, the repository? Settings, secrets. Oh, repository secret has this thing. This is probably what I did. I want this organization secret. I don't want this repository secret. You can remove it. Just get rid of it. Ah, 42 minutes ago. Wow. It seems like half of the effort has been me inadvertently discovering that that semantic release already did the work for me and I didn't actually have to do any of the work. Wow, wow. Well, now with this new secret correctly installed, we're gonna try rerunning this action. Rerun all jobs. Okay, it's gotta work. All right, it's installing some dependencies. Is it gonna work? Okay, the release has started. It's got loading stuff. I don't see any X's yet. Oh my goodness, lots of errors. Payment required, but it's not a private package. Ah, so close. Okay, okay, it almost got there. It almost, almost got there. We'll look at uh, package JSON. Let's try uh, add, just adding private. Pulse, there we go. Okay, I really hope it works. I'm tired, I wanna go to sleep, please work, okay. All right, documentation, packages and modules, scoped public package. Yep, yes. Mm -hmm. NPM publish, access public. Is there something inside here that tells me that this needs to be public? Let's see, is there a search feature? Uh-huh, this is what I'm talking about. Scroll down to the false, uh, to the to the bottom. I can, ah, I can figure out a better place to put this in the future. That's a, that's a problem for future me. For the last time, I hope. Okay, we got the version 1.02 coming up. Complete job, ah, uh, yes. Okay, let's see if the package exists exists here automatically. Oh, it's right there. Ah, oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. The package doesn't have a readme. Yeah, I lost the readme. Great. Well, I'm a very smart person now. It's it's so painful, but it it's nice when it finally works. This is all part of the learning experience. Like when you're getting things done, things go wrong and just pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing finally gets you to a place where things work. Does that make any sense? Don't even know anymore. It's time to go to bed.